Taken down, 10 seconds, now nine. The final seconds of this final championship game, the California Falcons will win. They are the Collegiate Hockey Association champions. They are, and this is our first championship, as these players are fired up right now. And Scott, I mean, you have a CAG team that competes every single year for this championship. You have a women's team that was just established four years ago as two DVCHC titles have been the championship game three times. And finally, the CAJ team comes through. That is all a credit to the general manager, Jamison Ross. He does a great job with these teams. Most of the teams, every single one of the women, CAG and CAJ play, they field one team. That's it. California University of Pennsylvania, this Caillou Hockey Club team, fields three competitive teams. CHA team won their championship, and in the coming weeks, the women's team and the CAG team are going to be traveling to nationals. That's something that this hockey club should be very, very proud of. The soon-to-be sportsman-like handshake done at every end of every finale championship game. The best traditions for the Carnegie Mellon Tartans. It's back to the drawing board, but they gave it a great run as both these teams developing a great rivalry, a lot of spirit in this Collegiate Hockey Association. It was definitely a great game. CMU did not give up. They made sure that they stayed with it, even scoring late in the game to make this maybe a little bit of a closer contest. They stuck with it. Boyd Zinger, the freshman, he has a bright future ahead of him. And this California team showed that they're more than just maybe the little brother to the CAG team. Peter Ellis, you can see there the hat trick. A fantastic game for him. All. Oh. Players for the Balkans as the CMU Tartans are also honored as well as they should be. CMU played a really good game. The last time we saw these two teams play, California basically dominated them on Consolidated Energy Center Ice. This time they came out here, they gave California a game. If you take away those power play goals, I think Carnegie Mellon gets the win. Trophy awaiting from the presentation. Trophy will be presented first, most likely to the captain, Zach Pennington, the senior from Lindora, Pennsylvania. They're also going to give away the MVP of the tournament before they give away the trophy. But it's also great to see so many fans here for both CMU, who is getting their picture on the ice. Now they should be very, very proud of coming in second and playing a very, very tough schedule, competing very well against a tough California team. But so many fans here, Scott. I think this is the most I've ever seen at Bethel Park Blade Runners for a Cal U hockey game. You got the great CMU faithful coming. Not too far of a drive. You have California faithful staying around from the CHE game and supporting the CHA team. Thank you. We'll let the PA announcer and the commissioner take it away. All right, at this point, we'd like to announce the MVP, the College Hockey Association. For the total of Four goals, four assists, eight points in both games. Number 26, California University, Pete Ellis. And Pete Ellis was just named MVP of the College Hockey Association playoff tournament. So the junior, congratulations to him. California will have him back once again next year. Yeah, only a junior and an assistant captain. He's not up on the big squad. He might don that C. 
THA team. So without further ado, the College Hockey Association Championships 2011 2012, California University of Pennsylvania number two. You see the Balkans getting the trophy. We'll go out into the trophy case that is pretty full out there. For all three teams, this is the first CHA title that they have, but it's definitely well deserved as a lot of these players have come up through the ranks, paid their dues on the CHA team, some of them for their whole careers, and it's not just a stepping stone from CHA to CHG. A lot of these players form a camaraderie, form a bond, and it's definitely great to see them come away with a victory tonight. See Alex Brody, the pass from senior and out to the goaltender. Lloyd Zinger, who had himself a phenomenal game, a phenomenal season, only a freshman. Future looks bright in the California organization at goaltender. So they'll get set for their team picture. It's definitely a well-deserved victory for this team. They've come so close the past couple years, and to be able to finally win it this year is definitely a good feeling for these seniors. with a big eight to five win in the Collegiate Hockey Association Championship game. The California Vulcan CHA team gets their first piece of hardware to add to the trophy case. And we were here for you with CU TV. We thank you for joining us. It was a pleasure calling it. For everybody on the crew, Gary Maximus Smith back in the truck. Allison Steinheiser, I'm Scott Majeski. Thank you for watching Balkan Hockey. <laughs>